morning everyone it's Ali if you didn't know and welcome back to Grease Vlogs day six and seven um, I think I mentioned last week okay guys so pause for a second I am not combining both vlogs I didn't realize I filmed so much on this day and this video as you can see is already like 27 minutes long <laughs> so th there will be one more Grease Vlog going up next Sunday and then that'll be it I'm combining these two just because today we're on a ferry most of the day so there's not really going to be a lot to film and then tomorrow we leave so it's it doesn't make sense to make them two separate vlogs because it'd be two quite very boring vlogs just because today we're on a ferry most of the day so there's not really going to be a lot to film and then tomorrow we leave so it's it doesn't make sense to make them two separate vlogs because it'd be two quite very boring vlogs so they're being combined as one but today is our last full day in greece and unfortunately the majority of it is spent being spent on a ferry so if you haven't already guessed the main mode of transportation around here obviously is ferries if you want to get to island to island or to like island to athens whatever ferries is the way to go and um we are currently in santorini and we have about an eight hour ferry ride um to get back to athens so that way we can get to athens airport tomorrow um the airport that's here is just like commercially so it doesn't really fly anywhere um that would help us out to get back home so that kind of sucks as our last day in greece we're spending the majority of it on a ferry but it is what it is um you know at the time when we booked kyle and i were talking about it last night and at the time that we booked this trip we could really only afford a five day you know trip but definitely you know moving forward i think from now we'll make our trips like seven days because there's just so much to see and do and five days just doesn't really cut it because especially here in greece it's like i said everything's really by ferries and that takes a while it takes a couple hours so you kind of feel like your time is cut in half because of travel so definitely we'll do seven days next time but it has been such an amazing trip and it's not over yet we're still going to do some stuff this morning because we check out of our hotel at 11 but they're letting us keep our bags up front to um so we can just go and enjoy the rest of our vacation and i'm going to get another tattoo today hopefully we're gonna go to a tattoo parlor there are two tattoos i really really wanted the only two tattoos i want as of right now and i was like oh well i'll get one in santorini and one in mykonos and really i probably should have just gotten both in mykonos but it is what it is. So we're going to go into Fira, which is kind of the main town here. And what? It's the capital, yeah. it's the capital of the island, excuse me. And we're going to go to a tattoo parlor. Kyle might even get something. I don't know. That's to be determined. But right now, we're just going to, we've literally just woken up, thrown on clothes. We're just going to go get breakfast and, and then come back, get ready, and then head out. Because we also have to get our COVID-19 test today. Um... It's required by law to enter back into the states. We have to have a COVID test 24 hours or less before our flight. So our flight's at 12.30 tomorrow, so we have to wait until 12.30, but we figure like, if we get to the tattoo parlor when it opens and both of us get tattoos, then that should basically get us till 12.30. But yeah, I'm rambling, so come eat breakfast with us. It's our last breakfast here, and I'm sad. <laughs> Okay, so we just had breakfast, and now we're back in the hotel, just packing things up, getting stuff ready, and um, it's going to be incredibly squinty from my perspective because it's so bright outside, but I wanted to do, with this gorgeous view in the background, I wanted to do like just a roundup of the trip because unfortunately at this point our trip is basically over. Like I said, we're going into Fira today just for like really two things, just for, or three, three to get a tattoo, to eat lunch, and to get a COVID test, that's literally it. And then we're on a ferry for eight hours. I know I said that, like I sound like a broken record, but that's the truth. Let's go all the way back to Athens on Sunday when we got there. So we had about half the day of Sunday in Athens. And if I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna put this like meme that uh, Kyle found. This is very true. So I think in their head, you in your head, you expect Athens to be like this really histor historical city and town and just like there's the Acropolis and all this like beautiful architecture everywhere and that's 
It's not not tr true, but Athens is really kind of like any other city. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. It's not what you think it is in your head, I guess. There is a part of Athens that's absolutely extraordinary. Like we went and saw all the markets and those were amazing. We saw the changing of the guard and that was really cool. And I'm sure in Athens there's so much more to see, but we only got half a day there. So we only, I feel like we saw a good, a good little tiny portion of it for how long we were there. Then Monday through Wednesday we were in Mykonos and I really actually think that was my favorite part of the trip by far. Um, Mykonos is what you expect Greece to be. It's very commercialized so everything is more expensive there but even like their expenses is a completely different expensive to me. Um, like I honestly thought things weren't that badly priced uh, to give to give you a little like rundown. So the day we were at the beach we it was eighty dollars for or eighty euros for a set of sun be beds for like however long we wanted and then if we got and then we have like full service like there are women on the beach coming up being like hey can we get you anything can we get you this can we do that and it came out to like i think 120 dollars at the end because kyle and i got some drinks and you know chilled and enjoyed but it really wasn't that bad but mykonos is like i said it's what you expect it to be it has the blue and white buildings sorry guys i have to get the hiccups um it has the blue and white buildings it's very tropical it's very just it's gorgeous but again it is very commercialized i really really loved it i love the vibe of it um it, it is kind of geared towards younger so like we stayed at a wonderful hotel again i'll if i haven't already i'll put the name down here and the hotel was incredible the pool was ama amazing the views were incredible and just amazing service but we were about 10 minutes from Mykonos town so it but it was a hefty walk like it was uphill and I'll get into that a little later but Mykonos town is just absolutely absolutely stunning and beautiful and everyone is just so friendly and nice and welcoming and there are so many restaurants and shops and just there's so many things to do and then we went to Delos on two Tuesday, which was such an amazing island and just architectural site. Um, it was just, it was incredible. Our archaeological site, excuse me. It was such an incredible and peaceful island. Like, I definitely recommend doing some sort, sort of island tour when you're here. We definitely want to come back and go to a couple more islands that we missed on this trip. But it was just incredibly beautiful. And I, like I said, I really like Mykonos because, again, it was what I expect expected Greece to be so when I got there I was really at peace I was like okay like this is what I expected water was absolutely freezing though because we found out actually what the water's been so cold so apparently now it would normally the water would normally be like 74 75 degrees Fahrenheit but it's really actually only like 64 65 degrees Fahrenheit because they got snow three months ago normal normally that doesn't happen so because they got snow, things are a little cooler than they normally would be. But honestly, like it was, you had to commit to the water in Mykonos, and I did, and I'm very proud of myself. The food has been absolutely unreal. Um, Mykonos, we had a wonderful Italian meal the last night, and I think that was my favorite meal on the trip so far. Um, we also met a lovely British couple who like, they had been there 35 years prior, and they came back, and they sat at the same table. It was really cool. But yeah, Mykonos and the Day Los Tour were absolutely amazing. Um, part of me like would probably make that my home base for the next trip, and then go like island hopping. And then Wednesday, the second half of Wednesday through today, oh my god um we have been in santorini now santorini i will say everyone kept saying like oh my god wait till you get santorini wait till you get santorini and if i'm completely honest i was a little underwhelmed granted we've only seen such a small portion of it but i was kind of underwhelmed by it it wasn't what i thought it would be and it wasn't um i guess i just got my hopes up a lot but it's again it's more I will say, like, it's uh, it's a lot more chill than Mykonos. Um, Mykonos is kind of geared towards a little, like, early 20s, late teens-ish. And uh, Santorini is a lot more chill, easygoing. And I do really appreciate that. 
Um, it was just kind of a big jump going from Mykonos to Santorini. Um, but I really, really enjoy that. I love the beaches here. The people here are just incredible. The food is absolutely incredible. I love the, we're in Kamari right now. And like, I love the strip of beaches and shops. That was incredible. It's a 10 minute walk. It's just, it's everything so convenient, which is really, really great. That's kind of a little bit of a roundup. A couple things to mention if, and I know I've talked about this earlier, but number one, if you are someone who has thick thighs like I do, look into chafing products too, because I have really bad chafing on my legs and it's gotten to the point like it's so red and it, that and it's like raw that it's hardened over so it doesn't bother me anymore. I just have two red patches on my leg, on my thighs about that big. Um, so yeah, definitely look into that. Bring a, like a mini thing of baby powder. Maybe like, I know they have like chub rub patches now or something. Um, so definitely look into that because on the islands, it's not bad because there's a bit of that sea moisture in the air. But on Athens, that's where I got screwed over because Athens is just straight heat. There's no humidity and it's awful. It is so hot. It is unbearable. <laughs> like we were sweating. Like it, it was a lot. So um, granted, there's really very low humidity here anyway, but on the islands, it's not bad because there's a breeze again. So there's that sea moisture. So with chafing, it wasn't like in Mykonos and here, it hasn't really been that big of a deal. But Athens was where I got totally screwed over because there are so many tall buildings that it blocks any wind and we're not like directly next to the sea. So, you know, there's no breeze or anything to kind of come back the shaving. It's just hot, sticky air. Number two, if you go to the islands, which most people do when they come to Greece, it is a lot windier here than I thought it would be. Now, my provider at work who I work with, she warned me about this, but I, this is like on a whole different level. It's not quite hurricane wind, but it's also like not just like your standard wind like we're having now. Um, it is very windy, especially when you get to ports. I would recommend bringing a hat with a strap or I'd recommend um, especially as it gets to night have like a light wrap on you because it does get pretty cold it can get especially in Mykonos it was very chilly like early in the morning and like late late night it was chilly here it hasn't been too bad um, in Santorini it hasn't been too bad but it Mykonos definitely like when you're right on the water oh yeah you're gonna get that high force winds and everything uh, second, bring good, or third, whatever I'm on now, bring good walking shoes. You will be doing a lot of walking. Do not bring cute shoes. I brought a pair of like low heels. Number one, they just, the heels don't work. The straps are horrible, but I haven't even worn them once or felt the need to wear them once. I've been in flats, sandals, and slides the entire time. Um, make sure they have good grip on them because a lot of the stone and the marble here makes up walkways and it's very slippery. So make sure they have a good grip. Um, honestly, unless you're going into like a monastery or a religious building or anything, um, you don't really need pants or we, I did my research and I thought that we would need to bring pants because we were going to go into church and stuff. Nope. It's hot here. Everyone's like, wear what you're most comfortable in. Like, it doesn't matter. Everyone here pays in cash. Like, you will actually find something that I was surprised. They will charge you less if you have cash to pay than if you have card. Now, we had a mixture of both. I've mainly been paying with card. Kyle's mainly been paying with cash. So we've had a mixture. My last point, ferry rides take a long time. These aren't like our long ferry rides. These are like two to five to eight hour ferry rides. So make sure you calculate those in because, again, that's the main mode of transportation here with the islands so make sure you calculate that in and like your travel time for your trip and stuff because you can easily spend half a day on a ferry easy without question i hope you guys have enjoyed the roundup uh if you have any other questions comment down below i could make like an entire video about like my experience here what i would recommend what i would not um, but definitely I think Mykonos has been my favorite so far. It's hard because like there are my favorite parts of Mykonos, but then my favorite parts of Santorini. It's been very difficult to choose. I also forgot to mention guys, I did that whole roundup and literally forgot to mention the tour we booked through. Um, I will, I don't know when I'm going to be able to talk more, so I might as well do it now. Um, but I'm not going back on that balcony because it is hot. Um, and I don't want to get any more burned than I already am. <laughs> But we booked this tour through Tour Radar. This was literally just like, I literally Googled tours around Greece and this came up and they had a bunch of deals going on because we booked this around like Valentine's Day or something. I don't remember. We booked this on some sort of 
offhand of a holiday and there were deals but they have been amazing like i it's just everything was organized we haven't had to worry about anything we literally we got into athens there was a person with our name ready to take us straight to the hotel when we got to the hotel the woman who's kind of in charge of everything she was there waiting for us to describe the entire trip to us and she helped us the next morning by locating our driver because he was a little late we got taken to the port we got on the ferry when we got there we met up with um another woman who was part of the tour our ride was already arranged she met us at the hotel in mykonos and explained everything answered all of our questions gave us her whatsapp number to be able to communicate if we had any questions and she was very quick with the responses and then kind of the same thing here she met us at the port at mykonos helped us get on the right ferry and then here when we got to santorini um, the guy met us with our ride already ready and you know explained the trip to us we don't know how it's gonna work we know the name of the boat we're supposed to get on so we're not too worried about it um but yeah i mean we have no doubts that at 2 20 our ride's gonna show up come and say my last say our last name and like we're gonna get on it and go to port like it has just been incredibly well organized same with the tours that we've done it's like we have vouchers and tickets we just hand them yep okay here you go it's just it's been so easy so i definitely definitely recommend um tour radar bye beautiful view bye room bye concrete bed i will not miss you okay guys so we are outside uh we just checked out and we're waiting for our basically uber um it's called i move here um to come pick us up to take us into fira but i just thought of one more thing i wanted to mention there's no crime here like at all and i know i'm very overexposed you guys are just gonna have to deal with it but there's no crime here the greeks they don't believe in crime um it's a very peaceful island and i'm talking about here on santorini i'm talking about mykonos just everywhere they do not believe in crime they don't believe in theft it's very frowned upon it makes you thank you so it's very frowned upon it's not that they don't believe in it it just it makes the islands look bad if they do so like constantine our tour guide yesterday was um talking about how like people would be lynched hey how's it going yeah. sorry we had some girls we know from the tours that we were on but um so it's just very frowned upon because if it did happen then it would just make the islands look very very bad and greece really heavily depends on tourism i think like 80 percent of their income less than that but like i would say like 50 percent depends on their tourism so but i love that personally i don't like crime i don't like hate i don't like violence i am a very neutral person um so the fact that like i felt completely safe here walking at night i haven't felt like i've had to turn over my shoulder look around like i can keep my phone in my back pocket and not worry about it like it's been very very nice hello everyone we are in fira now uh we just got dropped off and we're trying to find the tattoo parlor it is very not what i expected although that's kind of what the theme of this whole trip has been just things are not as i expected which isn't a bad thing it's actually a pretty cool thing but damn, oh, this island's uphill it's getting very old very quick but yeah, let me show you a little bit of what I see. Very likely going to end up. Um... Okay, guys, we are here, and it's go. We're getting it, or I'm getting it. He's just gonna film for me if he's allowed that. <laughs> All right, guys, tattoo is complete. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I have to keep it covered till tomorrow, so I'll show you guys tomorrow. Um, but now we are going to do our COVID test, which is probably the thing I'm most anxious about. But we're gonna think good thoughts. If they're both gonna be negative, and we're gonna be good. So yeah. Let's do this. I think I'm a good girl. I will be very polite. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you oh, very God, much. that always tickles. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get some 
you guys, here it is. Last meal in Greece. So sad. All right guys, we are negative. We are good to go. I've done all the pre-check and stuff. Um, we're gonna add those forms to our, you know, airport check-in forms, all that with our passport. So we're just prepared in case they ask for it. But yeah, we're good to fly home tomorrow. We, we have mixed feelings about it because like we're really excited to see Tiger. Obviously we miss him so much. Um, but we don't want to leave. It's been incredible and amazing and like there's just so much more to do here Like I would love to come back to Santorini when I said earlier like Santorini was not what I expected I didn't mean that in a bad way. I just meant that like There's so much I feel like you have to stay in Santorini and like go off to the other like towns in it for it to really, really be beneficial. Like we're in Kamari and like we went to the highlight of Kamari and I absolutely loved it, adored it. Um, but driving through Santorini, it's really kind of basically just like your everyday standard town. So um, whereas I, again, Minkanos was more like commercialized and there really wasn't any driving through anything you just want. But um, yep, we're just waiting for our taxi car, our car to come pick us up and take us down to port. Hello everyone. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, I'll just do a voiceover. Uh, but we are on the ferry back to Athens. Uh, the window's right there, so sorry about the bright light. But um, it was an experience getting on this ferry. Needless to say, the last I'm trying to be quiet because a lot of people are sleeping around me. Um, so like I said, this we're taking the ferry from Santorini to Athens. It's about a nine hour ferry ride, so it, depart it departed at 3.30 and we get into port. What's the port? Piraeus port at 11.30 tonight. It's a very long travel day. Um, at least the view's good. You can't see it, but there's water and islands. It's very pretty. Um, and we completely forgot our converters in our suitcase, so we, we weren't even thinking. And thankfully there's a young man next to me. He is American, and he has graciously let me plug in my USB port to his converter so I can charge my phone. Very, very grateful. Um, and, but no, just getting on here was an experience. There were just a lot of people. We were trying to like work our way up the line just to kind of get a little bit ahead, not being rude, just squeezing in when we could. And there was this woman and her boyfriend, husband, I don't know. She was literally like telling people like, I don't care, there's a lot of people, blah, 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 like trying to scoot through. And then she somehow ended up like next to us trying to get on the ferry and she kept cutting me off. And I was very clearly like with Kyle, like I had my hand on his backpack, like trying to let people know like, hey, we're a team, like please just, you know, be polite, give way a little bit, whatever. No, she was literally just walking into us trying to cut us off. It was very rude, very aggravating. Um, so that took both of us off. And then we got on here and we were gonna upgrade our seats, but this is a very different ferry than like the first ferry we took to get to Mykonos originally. And, um, the woman at the desk at the receptionist is number one. She's extremely rude. She's very standoffish. She just doesn't care. She really has that attitude. So like I talked to her to buy Wi-Fi and which is the other thing. I think it's so stupid. Like this is a ferry ride that some people are on for like nine plus hours. Like Wi-Fi should be free. But whatever, they gotta make their money some way. Um, but no, she was just very standoffish and everything. And honestly, like these seats we're in are pretty comfortable. So I'm not really too mad about it. Like pretty much economy seating is just like walking anywhere and sitting down where there's available like free seating so it's not bad but um hold on oh it's just a restaurant but, but um anyways so we have just been chilling here. I just like skimmed through a bunch of my videos. I'm gonna leave my phone alone and let it charge for like a couple hours because I'm pretty sure the man who's charging everything, I'm pretty sure he's heading to the same port as us. Um, it looks that way at least, so fingers crossed I can at least let it charge for like two hours. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling. I am trying to finish this book so we can put it in our suitcase. So, 
we don't have to carry it on the carry on and it doesn't have to hurt Kyle's back because props to my husband for carrying this backpack all week. Not that it's been totally heavy. I could have easily carried it, but he was just being amazing. So other than that, there's not really much of an update. We're just chilling. Um, I'll try to get as many shots as I can, but there's really nothing to film. All right, guys. Our last dinner in Greece is burgers and fries. <laughs> What a way to go out, but at least the view is pretty. All right, guys, after the longest ferry ride of my life, we have made it back to the Jason Inn Hotel in Athens, and we have a much bigger room. Granted, the bathroom's smaller. I can't show you that now because Kyle's in the shower, but uh, yeah, let me just give you the scope. So here's the door. We have a third bed. You know, in case I get mad at Kyle or kick him off the bed through the night, you can sleep there. I'm just kidding. We have our bed and then, yeah, the bathroom's in there. And then, yeah. So it's a big room, which is nice. Uh, I mean, we're literally only here for tonight. We get picked up at 8.30 tomorrow morning. But, yeah, that ferry ride is very long. I was very done with people. I felt so bad because the driver who picked us up and drove us here he was so nice and he was chit-chatting and everything but i'm like i was so done at that point like i just let kyle do all the talking oh and i don't think i mentioned this but i don't know what it is with people when traveling but truly it brings out a not pretty side of me like even coming here getting on the plane like to athens there's a woman in front of us like as we were in line to get on the plane she's like pulling out her headphones and her phone charger i'm like ma'am we're not taking off for like 30 minutes. Just walk, get to your seat, and then take your crap out. Like, come on. And then today, like I said earlier, with the women cutting me off and being rude, and it was the same, like exiting the ferry, there was a woman who was just talk, talk, talking away while walking, dragging her suitcase behind her, and not going like fast. And I'm like, ma'am, can you shut up and walk? There's like 200 people trying to get off this boat right now. I don't know. I'm tired, but we are here. Um, Kyle's in the shower. I'm about to get in bed and uh, read a little bit and just watch some YouTube videos that the Wi-Fi was really spotty on the um, ferry, so I was only able to do so much. Um, the second part of the ride, it was just I had no Wi-Fi, but so that's what I'm going to do, but I will see you guys in the morning for our official departure from Greece. I'm sad about it. <laughs>